Now, one thing I wanted to show you about this that's kind of interesting with copper is you can heat treat it and get a, a colorization on there that you may or may not like. And I'm going to use the torch at a low temperature, which would be sufficient for brazing. And for extended time, you would wear the number five shade for eye protection. Get your torch lit. Clean up the smoke, add the oxygen, and instead of that hot white-blue cone that you want for welding, you want a reduction plane that has a little more acetylene in it. And you can see when you touch the metal and pull it away, you're going to get different colorations on there. They're very subtle. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It doesn't need to scream like that. And mostly purples and golds come out and get some variation on the copper. You don't want to overheat it. But you do want some variations. And you really don't see the color until you pull your torch away. And you can keep that color if you wax it with any kind of paste wax. It'll stay on there. And if you see any smoke coming off the copper, it's from handling, it's from people's fingers on it, that sort of thing. And you get these interesting effects that make copper kind of in, you know, amazing in terms of the coloration that you can't get with steel in an application. So if you don't like it, you go over it, do it again. I'm just trying to make it look consistent with this side that I already did. And um, I'm going to stop there so you can sort of see the effect, and I'll work on that a little bit later.